Hey, what's up, you guys? Tom is back on the Linsen's video, and I got another fragrance to do a review on. Now, just before I get into this video, I just want to thank you guys again. We got there to the 400. It's taken a while, but we definitely got there. Um, I want to thank the people that I've done business with over the time through a Facebook, you know, because without you guys, you know, sending me some of your stuff and me sending out some stuff, you know, it, it's an easier way to not waste money on buying fragrances, you know. Obviously, we all have fragrances that we cherish a lot that we will never get rid of. And we got fragrances that we wish someone would just take from us. And, you know, being on these groups, you know, helps with that a lot. You know, you're able to test out other fragrances, you know, and honestly, without that, you know, doing all these, you know, trades and stuff, some of these videos wouldn't be possible, man, because honestly, I'm a cheap skate and I probably wouldn't buy half of these fragrances, but honestly, some of the fragrance I got are kind of like for bait, you know, it's like, man, I got this just in case I do really want to sell it one day, at least I know it's one of those top-notch fragrances that people might, you know, want to buy or want to get their nose on, but with that being said, Again, thank you guys for continuously supporting me. Thank you for getting on the bandwagon. It really means a lot to me. Again, wouldn't be doing these videos without you guys. So, big thank you. But anyways, um, so I do got another fragrance review um, tomorrow. The video tomorrow that we put on, that will be where we determine who's the winner of the uh, bottle of Cremo that Panto San Palo Santel, okay? Man, sometimes that damn name gets me so confused that Palo Santal, okay? Palo Santal. I don't know what the hell it is. It's just crema, okay? But there are two kind of fragrances that I love to wear right after I'm done with the shower, okay? Obviously, one being a nice fresh, okay? You jumped out of the shower, you're going to probably lounge around the house. You just want to smell fresh. Second favorite type of fragrance is actually a barbershop fragrance. And I'll tell you why. Usually, when you think of a barbershop, okay, when you get your hair cut... <laughs> Especially if you kind of have the day off after you get, go to a barbershop, okay? With me, it's not going to be a big deal, but people with actual hair on their head, it's going to be a big deal. You get done with that barbershop, they throw on that powder, they throw on that, all the lotions and stuff and all the hair gels and everything like that. You got to go home. You know, when you leave that barbershop, you smell good. You smell like that barber. It reminds you of the barbershop. You kind of smell that way. But then you got to go home because you got all those little hairs that they still couldn't get off you. So you got to kind of go take a shower. Well, now you kind of want to re-smell like that barbershop. Because honestly, fellas, when you ever, whenever you leave a barbershop, no matter what you get done, maybe you get some beard work done, maybe you get a hair cut, maybe you, you know, dye your hair or something, whatever it is, whenever you leave a barbershop, there's just something magical about it when you leave that smell that you get. It gives you this uplifting feel. So I love wearing barbershop fragrances after a shower, okay? <clears throat> now, me personally, my favorite barbershop fragrance of all time was from Mason Margella at the Barbers. There was nothing quite like that one. That one definitely put you right at a barbershop, okay? Made you think of shaving cream. Made you think of maybe some of that talcum powder. That fragrance is so beautiful. However, I did get rid of it because I did get something in return for it. A very nice fragrance, indeed. There are some other ones that I like. Cerruti 1881 is definitely a nice barbershop -y type fragrance. Again, Art of Shaving, Green Lavender, kind of reminds me of that barbershop. So, with one of my trades, a guy sent me a decant of Dines Derja Burning Barbershop. Okay, when I looked this thing up, this thing's like almost a $200 bottle of fragrance, okay? So, he was nice enough to give me the sample, the rest of this sample from the scent box. Pretty nice amount of juice left in there as well, too. That's probably at least a month's worth if I decided to use it for a month. But honestly, guys, there's nothing about this that makes me think of a barbershop. Um, you know, I'm going to read the notes real quick. Top notes, we got spearmint, lime, hemlock, spruce. What the... F what... Can someone explain to me what hemlock spruce is? Okay, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not at the high-end barbershops. I just go to the one right in the hood, the guy that, you know, does it for, like, food stamps. I go to that guy. He throws all the stuff on me, too. So, we're all good there. The middle, lavender, absolute, turbo rose, and Turkish rose. Okay, those sound pretty nice, okay? And then at the base, we got burnt oil, vanilla, and hay. 
Am I trying to smell like fucking Sea Biscuit or fucking Mr. Ed? Like, I mean, granted, there are things in this world that smell good that you're like, you know, man, you wouldn't think that smells good, but it smells good, okay? But I have never said I want to smell like hay. I don't care who the hell you are. If you said you wanted to smell like hay, you're a fucking bullshit ass liar. Or maybe you lived on a farm all your life and then now you're kind of in the big city and you kind of miss that hay feeling, but... Unless there's a different hay that I don't know about in the fragrance game. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not the shit that you feed a horse or a cow. But still, hay, burnt oil, vanilla. I mean, I've never had a barber put burnt oil on me or vanilla for that matter, okay? When I smell the barbershop fragrance, okay, I want to get that lavender. I want to get that feeling of that, you know, that Gillette shave foam on me. That smell that you get from that. I want that, that smell of like talcum powder and stuff like that. Nothing in here gives me that feeling, you guys. To me, this just smells like straight up burnt tires. Like maybe like if you've ever gone to one of those used car dealers that got the used tires and stuff, and maybe someone comes in there with a the flat tire, that smell that you kind of get in the air. This is kind of what this smells like. Dude, I don't get who in their right mind would want to smell like this stuff. If you got this fragrance, man, and you really like it, man, that's good for you. But honestly, this thing does not remind me of a barbershop at all. This reminds me of a flat tire being rolled into that used tire lot that some guy's going to throw that fucking little nail in there with that little sticky gel stuff in there and pump it back up and put the air back in. This is what this reminds me of. This does not remind me of any type of barbershop at all. If you're getting a if you're getting a haircut, a fresh haircut, and you smell like this afterwards, you probably got that at some place that has a population of like 15. So, you know, with that being said, obviously there's gonna be people that like this type of fragrance. Maybe those notes kind of you know intrigue you a little bit. The rose and the lavender kind of intrigue me a lot about this, the spearmint, the lime. But even then, I don't really get that much of that. I'm not getting that much of a citrusy smell from this or a spearmint and some kind of minty smell. I'm not even getting really those roses in here. Honestly, all I'm getting is that burnt oil and maybe some hay. Maybe the fucking hay is covered in like burning oil and then lit on fire because this stuff is not good at all. You guys, please do not blind by this. If you got five thousand dollars to just splurge, you know, maybe you got that new stimulus that the old president is talking about that we're still not gonna get because there's gonna be some bozo that can just block all that anyways. If you wanna buy this, I urge you to be aware that it does not smell as good as I mean, even these notes don't really look that good, especially the base. Uh, but maybe you guys might like smell like burnt oil and hay, I don't know. But this one, you guys, definitely is not for me. This does not bring barbershop memories to me. It doesn't do anything like that. Just, again, use tire lot. That's it. There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. Yeah.